Hey, regarding the Nova coronavirus outbreak, how much are you aware of it? Yup, it's exam time. No, 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 no. Come on, it's already the fifth month since the patient zero was test positive, and it's a crisis matter of your reproductive ability. Now, I believe you should already know that a regular medical mask is helpful enough to block droplet nuclei, but below that, have no effect on droplets, as the multi-layer structure of a mask can effectively block large particles and nanometer scale particulates adhere to the fibers by static, right? So, do you know? Spraying a mask with alcohol will destroy its structure. Check it out. The water on the mask will not have leak, but as soon as the alcohol was sprayed onto the surface, it penetrated immediately. It's because the alcohol will dissolve into the waterproof coat that is used to block the droplets. It will also take away the static electricity in the electrostatic cotton and will reduce the function of filtering the particulates. Next, you already know how far is the social distance should be, right? And at least you already know that the droplets are one of the main rules of spreading the COVID-19, right? Okay, so how far can the droplet fly? According to surveys, sneezing discharged more than 10,000 droplets flying up to 25 feet. This is what it looks like 0.34 seconds after you sneeze. Color green are the large droplets. As it's heavy, they will ground within 10 seconds. Color red is the mist of small droplets. They will quickly evaporate and diminish in size to become dry droplet nuclei. Breath with the coronavirus drift in the air and make contact with others mucose. How far are 25 feet? I'm gonna walk up. You're right there, stop! Seriously? It can travel this far? Basically, when you sneeze, your small droplets may flow throughout the room. And then coughing can travel up to 6 feet. Now you know how important social distance is, right? To top it off, even calm talking discharge about 500 droplets per minute. So, you thought wear mask play play wanna? Oh, one more thing. In fact, sneezing with your mouth covered or wearing mask, not the front side, but the people beside are the unlucky one. Well, of course, you know the Nova Corona virus enters our bodies through mucuse, right? Then, of course, you know frequently wash hand is more important than the mask because we easily touch surface then contaminate with the virus and then transfers the virus to our mucuse by touching our eye, nose, mouth, right? Alright, do you know that using soap is better than sanitizer? Because it's not a bacteria but a virus that's surrounded by a coating of proteins and fat. If you only wash it with the water, it rushes right over the virus just the same as the oil stick on your hand. But any regular soap can destroy the fat layer of the virus. But you have to take 20 seconds rubbing your hand for this effect to happen. For hand sanitizer, it needs at least 60% concentration of alcohol to have the same effect but the sweat and dirt on your hands will dilute its effect too. You don't need any antibacterial soap. Any plain soap and 20 seconds is the ultimate virus and nail letter. A minute, do you think healthy people should wear masks in the public? Some people in the US have been discriminated against and even bitten for wearing masks. Why? Before the Euro and US epidemic wasn't serious, this was a culture shock. On the other hand, many officials released discouraged healthy people to wear a mask. There are several reasons. To stop face mask snap up, causing the shortage for the healthcare workers. Avoid causing panic. And also, some said if people have not been trained to wear masks, they are more likely to be affected. Well, you just find your own balance point. No point to this question. Alright, let's go on. Will the coronavirus transmission through the air? On March 17, research published by the authoritative journal New England Journal of Medicine has a little different thoughts with the WHO saying that it would not spread through the air. Indeed, it's not an airborne transmission. But research has found that the COVID-19 in the small droplets or particles can survive for 3 hours. The research also reflects that aerosol can be suspended in the air for 34 minutes before they ground. However, COVID-19 can last on the copper surface for 4 hours, on cardboard, 24 hours, stainless steel, 2 days, and plastic, 3 days. But it still depends on the temperature and humidity. I'm just curious why the time must be 24, 48, but not 23, 49. Hmm. 
Never mind. If so, isn't this just like the contagion movie when an affected person touch any object such as doorknobs, credit cards, handrails, etc. It can transmit the virus to another person and then turn to more people and more and multiple and so on. It's almost unpreventable. Actually, we shouldn't be too panicked. If air circulation is good, the risk of spread isn't too high. I mean, the virus dissipates quickly in the air. The concentration and quantity of the suspense virus are not high, and it's still unclear how many doses of the virus needed to be infected, unless it's in a sealed environment or if you are close with the infected person. You shouldn't be too panicked if you have the understanding and you did the homework. This virus is designed to tell us stay at home, learn more knowledge on the internet. Most people like to believe in absolute opinions from the fake news, just like how we were educated there's absolute bad and good people in storybooks when we are small. Without the attitude of scientifically doubting, hypothesizing, verifying, or at least do some research. For example, drink alcohol, eat garlic, drink hot water to kill the virus, or the summer epidemic will be improved, or have not been scientifically proven. Yup, there are possibility that COVID-19 will recur or mutate, but it hasn't fully confirmed. And including the rumors of circulate that it may affect men's reproductive health after cure of COVID-19. And also the herd immunity theory, we are still unclear and there's no absolute answer for it now. Of course, we can't wait for the scientific verification to prove everything right. It may take 10 years to verify the third phase of FDA certification for a drug, even more for the fourth phase. Did you know a smart person seek for perfect, but the wise seek for balance? Who say that? Hmm, I said it. Well, until now, if you already have three points, it means you are not a fan of fake news. Add one point to yourself. You know why coronavirus is called coronavirus, right? Well, then, have you ever asked what are the crown like spikes used for? In simple terms, it's the key to enter the cells. As mentioned earlier, the COVID 19 has a corresponding receptor with our mucous cell. Okay, you already know the incubation period of COVID-19 is 14 days or more. Now, compared to the mortality of SARS 10%, MERS 40%, the COVID-19 mortality rate is about 4%. Do you think it's a good news? Sorry law, it's even more terrible because of the low mortality. The purpose of the virus is not to kill the host, but to reproduce itself. Its mother virus will lurk in its host for a longer time. In the past, MERS was too impatient to kill its host. The result is, it has a low transmission rate. Therefore, some people suspect that the COVID-19 is derived from the SARS or MERS mutation. Next, do you know what's the COVID-19 direct cause of death? It's the excessive immune response. Oops, wait. It's easy to mislead people thought that it's all immune's fault. It actually only occurs in the later stage. WHO has urged everyone to improve their immunity and prevent viruses during the outbreak period. So, balance. Balance. Immune system also need balance. So, how long we still have to wait? Currently, there are three forces to fight the war. The most effective way for the current situation is to isolate infected people with the fast COVID-19 test kit. For antidote, recently there's a drug called Remdesivir that could block virus replication but it hasn't been proven effective in the human body. For vaccine, the development of the COVID-19 vaccine is different from the previous double-stranded DNA smallpox. COVID-19 is a single-stranded RNA that can easily mutate, making it much more difficult to develop a vaccine. This medical procedure must be super strict. From research to animal tests and human clinical trials until distributing to the market, it is a very complicated process and a huge span of funds and time. However, on the March 16, the US has injected the first vaccine into the human body. And of course, China has the same speed. The German biotech company that had previously refused to be acquired by Trump plans clinical trials in July. Taiwan is also researching a new solution, a nano vaccine that can impersonate the novel coronavirus. Well, everyone has their own tricks. But it takes at least one and a half years from the human clinical trials until reaching the market. Until that time, the output of the vaccine will still be insufficient. There will be a problem, who has the priority to take the vaccine? It's possible we may determine by the lottery. But I'm not sure if you have read that, it's not that simple. It is a war of vaccine. Whoever has the first vaccine will gain absolute power to the economy. As we know that our dear great powers have not stopped their war. Media warfare is fierce on the internet. 
and the same thing goes to the civilian. Both sides have their own conspiracy theories, but most people like to surround themselves with the media, communities, friends that only match to their beliefs. It's because the collapse of one's belief is more terrifying than death. And also the British herd immunity theory, which is being used to exaggerate from some grammar details by both sides media but not discussed in a scientific way. What I mean is, this is a natural phenomenon, as this is what the media should do, right? Lastly, do you know, in an outbreak, it's a domino effect linking to many aspects. All the departments are in the state of war. Many say this is a World War III, it's no exaggeration. But the real battlefield and the soldiers are in the hospital and the healthcare workers. Have you ever imagined, every day they wear and remove their protective suits spend at least 30 minutes. Each process is complicated and they should wear it light and slowly to avoid the suit being torn. Even the slightest mistake can be life-threatening. Removing the suits is more dangerous. The suit must be rolled in to avoid contact with the viruses. They need to disinfect for taking off each item. The disinfect repeats 20 times in total. In a cell environment, the hospital has more virus concentration and quantities than anywhere. A large amount of virus will be ejected when the trachea is intubated in the isolation room. Some wearing the powered protective suit need to fight for the time as the battery is limited. The goggles press their face for a long time. More than 4 hours, no drink, no toilet. We can see they drench when the suit is taken off. Some pediatricians worry about scaring the child. They draw cartoons on the suit, adding humanity to the cold hospital. We can see a shortage of medical resources in various countries. The purpose of shutting down the cities is to flatten the numbers of patients from exceeding the number of beds and respirators. Flatten the curve requires everyone to work together. Protecting yourself and family is also the biggest help to the medical system. In this crucial period, don't simply visit doctors if not necessary. Family doctors and clinics are part of the entire medical system. If you or someone close to you has a history of going abroad, or if you have been in contact with a confirmed patient, you are in the high-risk group, and you must take the initiative to contact the hotline for COVID-19 testing. But if you are not in the high-risk group, but feeling having some symptoms, it is recommended that you isolate yourself at home and observe first. If the condition is serious, you can go to the nearby clinic and let the doctor decide whether you should take the test. Leave the medical resources to the people in need. This situation does not end after any lockdown orders end. We still have at least one or two years to be very cautious before the vaccine comes out. If you think this video helps, I really hope you can share it with those that are still.